Good morning. It is Monday morning and I'm headed to work. Um, I have to be there at 7.20 and it is 7.15, but I'm just like right down the street. So anyway, uh, today I think it's going to be a, a really productive day because I did a lot of planning this weekend specifically Sunday yesterday I did a lot of planning and so I feel like today will run rather smoothly today is the solar eclipse day and so we can't go outside or anything like that because you know the dangers that come with the solar eclipse you can't look at the um directly at it but we're going to look at the look at it on the um NASA website and so uh, that should be fine but they'll probably miss not being able to go out because you know it's kindergarten we're supposed to go out to to play every day in kindergarten anyway my camera is shaky i'm so sorry if it's like super shaky i need to get a like a car mount because right now it's just sitting up there and so i'm trying to drive careful and trying to drive smooth but the roads in in this part of town are really bumpy and I don't want to uh, knock the camera off and break it or anything like that. But anyway, this week we are officially. Whoop! It fell back. This week we are officially going to get started, like with our the meat of our lesson plans. We turned like this. This is the second week of school, and so um, the first week we did mainly procedures. And then now this week we're going to get started with the bulk of our lesson plan which would include actual skills and um, standards and so because we are in Mississippi we have what they call the Mississippi Korean College readiness standards so that's what we follow and um so that's what I, I wrote my lesson plan based on those standards now we were supposed to get the uh, wonders which is a literacy program but it hadn't come through yet last year we used journeys so this year what my principal informed me was to go ahead and teach the standards and we can teach them using journeys but when wonders come in or if wonders come in we don't know how long it's gonna be uh -oh. if wonders come in or when wonders come in we don't know how long it's gonna be then we can start using um then we can start using wonders so I'm gonna go ahead and use journeys and I actually I'm okay with journeys because I'm familiar with journeys see I'm very unfamiliar with wonders we haven't had a wonders uh, professional development we haven't had a wonders introduction meeting so I don't know too much about wonders and I wonder if I'm a really like one <laughs> but uh, I think I'm just gonna use journeys for right now because I like journeys and they have the guide they have everything like laid out for you as far as like guided reading and stuff like that like the centers and groups and my district or my school specifically in my district um, our principal wants us to focus on small group learning and uh, center activities. Even like when it comes to morning morning work or, or morning activities. So for like instance, my class, I did like uh, morning tubs this year, which I'm really happy about actually. And so each group has a different tub. I'm gonna have to get them out because I can't keep moving this thing. Each group has a different tub, and so that works really well because it's like something always going on, but it's something that they can do. It's nothing that I have to constantly monitor. For example, a lot of it is fine motor skills. In kindergarten, fine motor skills are imperative, and I didn't realize how important they were last year. Uh oh. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize how important they were last year simply because when I, I jumped into the year and I real, didn't realize how much they needed it. And I took for granted that a lot of them um, went to a head start or went to a pre-K program or went to preschool or went to some type of program before kindergarten. And the fact of the matter is 
states a lot of them don't a lot of them come from the house because i don't know how it is in other states but in the state of mississippi kindergarten is not a requirement it's only a requirement when they get to first grade they have to go to first grade but kindergarten they cannot go to kindergarten and so a lot of students especially depending on their uh socioeconomic status if they can afford preschool or daycare or whatever or if parents are at home or grandma and grandpa is at home whatever the case may be then they'll stay there until you know they can come to school and so i had a lot of that That was the crossing guard. She, she was telling me to slow down. Which I can't believe I was going too fast that she had to tell me to slow down because I'm not that person. Like, I am not usually that person. Anyway, I hate that she had to tell me to do that. And this is so rocky, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'm almost at the school. I just, uh,. Need to get some stuff out when I finally park. I need to get some stuff out and then uh, I'll check back in with you guys. Probably on my plan. And the kids I go to plan to activity at nine o'clock. And I think today is PE, and so my assistant will take them to PE. And so then that way I can check back in because it makes it easier for me to be able to do some. some Okay, I'm in class. Oh, let me open the window. I'm in class. I'm actually on activity. Well, where my students go to activity. And um, my assistant takes them. So I have a few things I need to do. Since I'm team leader and I do the lesson plans for reading and language arts and phonics, I uh, went ahead and printed like all our Saxon stuff. We used Saxon last year and um, Saxon is really cool. However, we don't have any of the uh, practice sheets. And so I went ahead and printed out enough for my whole team and the uh, assessment, the oral assessments. So I just have to organize it where it's like three of us. So I have to put three on each one. I mean, I have to take out enough papers for each teacher. Then I need to, mm, what else do I need to do? Nothing really, just do that. And oh, guess what? I finally, well I ordered this from Lowe's. And so it finally came in, not finally, it didn't even take long, it didn't even take a day. But I got my teacher toolbox, so I have some spray paint and I'm just gonna spray paint it later on today this yellow color and then um wait for it to dry because i need some organization in my life my my life is just a big ball of confusion most days so i'm going to do that um and that's pretty much it i have done everything as far as lessons i'm gonna take a bye alphabet strips from Sonic from how to say for Sonic from Saxon because when they get back we're actually doing letter tiles and so we're introducing letter tiles today today we're on letter G because we we started Saxon probably the second week in school like uh well last week this is the I think I said this morning that this was our second week in school this is our third week I'm kind of thrown off because we started the actual teachers we started on a Friday and the students came back on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So sometimes I get a little off but officially We are in the third week of school. So but we started sex in the second week of school Our interventionist made it super clear to us that um She wanted us to start sexing as early as possible. And so that's what we're doing. We're gonna start we started sexing super early and um, but not really super early but we didn't waste any time which i'm fine with uh so that's all i'm doing just some like some little housekeeping stuff need to put that up i need to uh get out the letter towels and the way see i used my letter towels last year and last year they were um 
you know they we used all of them <laughs> so they're like in one big bag so i should have organized it before now because now i have to go through and only get out l o n g and this is my closet y'all <sighs> my assistant and me we have been working on this for literally a year and a half but this is my closet in my classroom like look at this and it's actually some really really great stuff in here it is just a lot of stuff and so we are constantly constantly uh reorganizing and re oh my god it is so much stuff and so that's where we are right now i need to do kindergarten assessments today um oh i should have pulled some students while they were in uh pe so i need to probably do that go get one or two because the kindergarten assessment isn't long i just need to do it i just need to have every, my goal is to have everybody's kindergarten assessment done by the end of this week which is not hard it just has to be done so here are our letter towels and i went ahead they were in plastic bags but i knew that i was gonna uh have to reorganize them for the beginning of the year so i only put them in um so i just dumped them all in dumped them all in here but anyway i'm gonna go check in check in on my teammates because i have one teammate she's a first year teacher she's really super awesome though and then i have another teammate she her first year was last year and she's really super awesome though but i want to make sure i give them the support that they need because you know just by being team leader i just feel like i should look out for them they're my team i, I love them they they're awesome teachers they're great teachers and on top of that i need to give them all their sex and stuff so i will talk to Okay, so if I have any teacher friends out there that use sex and phonics, can you all tell me how y'all organize y'all letter cards? Like, if you use them over and over each year, because we use our letter tabs. I'm sorry, I think I said letter cards. We use our letter tabs every year. But at the beginning of the each year, you know, you only give them, like, the L and the O. Well... I'm going through all of these towels. I'm getting out L's and O's because I put them all together to organize them this summer. <laughs> and I didn't do what I initially said or thought I was going to do. And so, how do y'all keep them? I mean, is this just what we're going to have to do every year besides the fact of not? putting them all in one bag but as far as them we using them or do you put them back when they don't use them or how do y'all do it just tell me because when i used them last year i must admit um the program was really new so i did make some mistakes then now i'm looking back and i'm kind of like oh i should have done that oh i should have done this so is this one of those mistakes where you know i just i just made that mistake it just is what it is and you know you grow when you learn from it or is this the norm because i'm feeling like this can't be the norm right this is not normal anyway i was gonna make a few phone calls i did all the copying friday so we don't need any copies for the week except for center activities and um, I try to keep center activities as hands-on as possible, but because they are learning to write and we are uh, trying to teach them um, how to hold a pencil, how to use a pencil, then I do have handwriting centers and I do have, uh, I have a handwriting center for sure. Then I have a center that they need to uh, cut and paste because cutting also helps with fine motor development. And so, all those things take paper and last year i had a parent to supply some paper but this year i didn't even have any parents to bring any paper it's not on school supply list so i wasn't expecting it but it is uh it's like a courtesy like you know those see those parents they bring like extra stuff you just be kind of like i see you so i didn't have 
I didn't have one of those this year. Now I do have this parent, I had her son last year, now I have her other son this year. She was like my room mom, so I can ask her. She, she already said like I can ask her anything. I can ask um, the grandma for anything. And they bring a lot of stuff. Like every party we had, every event we had, they brought stuff. And so, About to pull out the parking lot at the school. I like to hang my um oh my neck was caught in my hair. I like to hang my badge up there so I won't forget it every day. So after I get off, I just take it and put it up there. And then when I uh get back to work the next day, I just uh put it back on. Anyway, unless I'm going somewhere where I like need the discount or something like Michael's usually has discounts then I might get it then then I might get it then but other than that it just stays up there I hope it's not bothering or it's in the way anyway I need to give me a car mount because this is so rocky like I know it keeps like tipping over it'd be so much easier if I had a car mount anyway headed to to the house well first i gotta pick up my son and then i'll be headed home but today was a good day it was a good monday we did star testing and um i don't know if anybody out there knows what star testing is but star testing is basically or it's the mcas <clears throat> excuse me mcas we take the mcas and it's basically um like a pre-test and it's a uh, like on the computer it's computer based so you can see the level of the students and since we are doing whoa okay my <laughs> my camera just slid so I do need to get a, a case I mean a car mount and okay anyway so MCAS is basically a test we do on the computer to find out the students levels and, and goals and see how what we need to do we are data driven and so what that basically means is we use our data to see where we need to go basically with with the students because in this area or you know in my area you have some of the students who come in knowing a great deal of information i mean just a wealth of knowledge for to be kindergarten of course it's not like they recite encyclopedias but they know a lot of information to be kindergarten and then you come in with some who are not on the same level and so we use the MCATs basically to find a happy medium for students who we need to you know push and, and help them grow and help them you know keep doing well or um, students we need to know our lower students where we need to start what we need to focus on what we need to kind of just where we need to go with them and so I was really excited we took that today because I've been waiting on it. I really, I don't rely on the MCAS, but I use the MCAS results to drive my, my teaching. I, I know what I need to work on because on the results, it gives you basically what the student needs, the need to be met, or what the uh, student is strength is in and how you can improve it. And so, let how you can improve it and so I like to use it for you know that reason but I'm reaching for my phone <laughs> you know it's 414 um we don't we can leave at 3 30 but my team since we are doing centers this week which we do centers every week I'm trying to get to the point where we do them um, a week ahead of time but like we did good today because we got all I did all the centers yesterday well the reading language arts literacy centers yesterday and uh, my teacher my co-teacher that does the math she did hers and my co-teacher that does the uh, science and social she did the science 
uh, lesson plan, I mean the science centers. And so today all we had to do was pretty much copy. And you know, pretty simple. So I was really excited about that. I feel like this is gonna be a smooth week. Now my main focus, my main goal is uh, grocery shopping because I'm starving like Marvin right now. And I'm just hungry because I didn't have a good breakfast because I, I really woke up like my um alarm goes off at 4. I don't necessarily have to be up at 4 but you know, that works. So anyway, I didn't get up to 4. I'm trying to cross over. I didn't get up at 4. I got up at 5 26 and we have to leave the house at 6 well I like to leave the house at 6 because it just makes for better better timing it makes for better timing I'm able to get to work on time I'm able to drive my son out of school on time I don't have to rush I don't have to you know fight traffic I don't get behind any school buses but today it was just I don't know it was still went smooth because I still got to work on time and even though I didn't sign in and I didn't sign out, so I should have done that. And my son got to school on time and we was, uh, you know, it worked. we didn't get it. Well, I think we were kind of actually so late that the buses <laughs> were gone, but we weren't behind any buses where we were making frequent stops. Because I don't know, I'm not like a road rage type person, but when I'm rolling, I like to keep rolling. And it constantly stopping and going, stopping and going, it kind of is irritating to me. And so, you know, I was glad that we could just roll on. I don't know. So, today was a good day by far. Um, this year has been a great year. I mean, I ain't had any troubles last year. I think y'all want to just say I had problems last year because I love my kids. I love... Oops, I wouldn't just say I had any problems last year because I love my kids. I love getting to know them. I love my parents. But uh, I had some behavior problems that were kind of like unreal. That was almost kind of like, 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 what is really going on? For example, I had, my tongue was itching. <laughs> That's weird. I had one kid who I really felt like, um, I really felt like it might have been a problem there but you know mom didn't want to really address it and you know I didn't know how to address it and every day it was a constant struggle with me and this child and I mean I loved him and I feel like he loved me and he and I feel like that you know he respected me he wasn't just disrespectful or you know but I, I think he had some other problems that he needed to manage a little bit better. And um, I don't think he could do that without the help of his, uh, his parents. And they weren't willing to accept that. And I didn't want to push the issue. And so every day was a constant struggle. And that's another thing I've learned this year. When it's just time to... Well, When it's time to like speak up, speak up, because we're the, we're these children's advocates. I'm so annoyed by this camera. We're these children's advocates, and I don't want these children to go through their school career not getting the proper help that they need. And so, you know. Anyway, it's, I don't have, anyway, I said that to say I don't have any children like that. I don't feel like I have any children like that this year. Even though everything is still so new. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. 
um, August 22nd. And I'm about to go over speed bump. Hold on. And I'm headed to school. I'm actually right down the street from school, from work. And so I should be there in just a second. Now I'm making good time today. Like, we got up at a good time. We left the house at a. Good morning. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, today is Wednesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because my battery is low. Like yesterday morning, I went to get ready to vlog and stuff, and I couldn't because it said battery is exhausted. So today we're back. Anyway, it's currently my planning period, and I actually plan in my planning period, or at least like run copies and stuff, because my assistant she has to go with the um, she has to go with the students to the activity. So, like during our planning period, our students go to um, music library, PE, uh, what's the counseling. And she usually has to stay with them during library because the librarian doesn't have an assistant. And so, isn't it so cute? That's my sign. I got made for back to school. Anyway, so she's gone with them. So I actually have time to sit down and do some stuff. Now they went to lab. They went to music earlier, and she doesn't have to stay with them in music. But then they go to library. She has to stay with them in the library. And so earlier we were getting stuff together for our students who um, are not kindergarten ready. And what I mean by kindergarten ready is you have some students come in who are just ready they know their letters they know their sounds they know how to write their name they know their shapes they know their colors they know all the things they know how to hold a pencil um they even know letter you know they even know let they can re recognize letter i think i said letter sounds anyway they need they have everything ready to learn or to start reading then we have some that come in who absolutely are just not there and what i mean by not there is they um, can't hold a pencil, they can't spell their name, they can't write their name, and so we have to take it back for them. And I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I have mixed feelings because, okay, yeah, this is kindergarten, and this is where we teach them the basics. This is where we teach them the fundamentals. Totally get it. Clean slate coming in. Totally get it. Then, on the other hand, I'm just kind of like, well, Head Start is free. A lot of pre-K programs are free. Um, even just doing some stuff at home, like spelling their name or getting them to color, getting them to hold a pencil or a crayon, that little stuff like that it could be done at home. And then I think about what a college professor told me. She said that you never take for granted what a child should know or what they do know. You are the teacher. You're here to teach. So you teach them on their level. And it has always stuck with me. And so I don't, that was my air freshener. And so I don't have a problem with, you know, the students who are coming in in a blank slate. It's just that um, it makes for a lot of work. And so I just have to be prepared. I have to know, that's not that's not here. I have to be prepared. I have to know that, um, you, you, that I'm gonna get all different kinds and so, just be ready just be ready with that said um one a few of my students with that being said i also have ell students and they speak mainly spanish at home and so we are i was instructed by the ell teacher or the ell coordinator to um only speak english and to teach them in english so with that being said like uh I have to get like stuff like I hope y'all can see this like tra actual tracing like lines and and actually going down and going up like stuff that they can just do to hold a pencil to get them ready and acclimated for kindergarten. Now a lot of this stuff is pre-K, and then I, I don't like the the pressure I guess that are on the students 
you come in and you need to know A, B, C, X, Y, Z. You know, <laughs> different people come from different places. So I cannot say that these students need to know this before kindergarten. However, those are the the rules we play by. Anyway, oh, and I want to say this because even like with sight words, like I'm gonna take you out to my word wow. Even like okay, that's like over here to my right. Even like with sight words, these are the sight words that they should know coming into school. So a and away, big blue can come down, funny folk, fine for go. All of these sight words that I have here are the pre-primer pre sight words, pre-primary sight words. And so it's just kind of difficult because a lot of people don't know, a lot of children don't know these words. Now I do know some children that come in off the back know these words. They can read them, they can, you know, spell them, they can recognize them, awesome. So it's just a big, it's a big jump. It's like kids that don't know anything and you have to start with the basics. And then you have these kids that know so much and you just gotta keep them, keep them going, keep them motivated, keep them producing, keep them, keep them encouraged. You know, it's just from one extreme to the other. So, I don't know. I'm not having a hard time doing it, but I wish parents were more on board. I don't know. We don't have a lot of parental support um, as much as I would like. So my goal this year is to challenge parents. Like I won't, <laughs> this is just me now. I want 100% participation from my class with the PTA. See, I've already joined the PTA, which the teachers are expected, but not required. But you know, when they say expected, they really want you to. So a lot of parents, a lot of teachers I already joined, which I've already joined. I think my sister and I already joined. And so I, I just want us to be a community of of likeness. Like I would just want our community to be strong. I want our classrooms community. Like if the parents know if they need anything, they can call me. If I need anything, I can call them. Now I have one particular parent. I think I told y'all about her already. She is like my room mom because she was my room mom last year. Well, actually, the grandma was my room mom, so I don't really have a problem out of her. I don't really, I just, I think it's just motivating the parents. A lot of them are working parents. A lot of them have a lot going on. A lot of them have more than one child, one or two children. And so it just takes time for them to, um, it just takes time for them to do all these different kind of things. You know, if you're working, you just get off work. You got PTA me, but you got a child over here. You got a child at this school, a child at this school, and you got to make these different means, and then you got to go home and cook dinner. And then, so I know it can be, it can be kind of demanding. So I try to be understanding. But my goal is to have 100% class participation, and I'll let y'all know how it goes. So right now, I am just organizing all these. See, I got like all these, uh, this, all these, and I got them from worksheetfun.com and they were free. And I just printed them off and I'm gonna let some of mine practice with it. Now, this is what they mean by differentiated learning. Like, the students who need this, they're gonna do this. I'm not gonna give it to everybody because I have some, I have some who are finished like this. But I'm only going to give it to the ones who need it for extra practice. Alright, then I have some who I would have to sit sit with to do this. So, all of this is differentiated learning. All of this is uh, catering to the students' needs and what's on their level. And I'm all for that. I feel like I, feel like I should cater to... I don't want to say cater. But I feel like I should meet their needs. Because the simple fact is, I'm the teacher and I'm here to teach you. And I'm not going to teach you on the level that you want to be able to get. And then you get frustrated. I get frustrated. Then it's a big ball of confusion. No. I'm going to teach you where you'll be able to learn. And if this is where I have to start, this is where I will start. And so, that's, that's where I'm at now. That's how I feel about it. 
feel about it now. Now you get you got some other people who or other teachers or whatever that would say, you know, well they should have came in knowing this or why they didn't know this whenever, whenever. Well that's not my problem. I don't know why they didn't know it. I wasn't there last year. But right now, while they're with me, I'm gonna do what I can for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and um try to start cleaning up some of this stuff like I was hole punching. I got I bought these. I can't even remember where I bought them from. Oh, here it is. Um, I guess Johnson Z is for Zebra 2015. I'm not totally sure. I don't know. But I got these from my for, uh, Teachers Pay Teachers because we're doing snap blocks in our centers. Now, this is the master copy that I had ordered, I, that I got. And then we, my team and I laminated, um, Laminated them so they put them in put the snap blocks together for our sight wires and I only did the sight wires that we have been over so C we and I the two oh these are on a ring this is how I originally wanted them I mean teacher friends y'all get how much work it takes to do what we do but this is how I originally want them like I have some key rings and I wanted to uh, hole punch them and then put them all in key rings. I just ran out of time with laminate and then, well, print, laminating, then, uh, let me back up. No, printing, copying, because I had to copy enough for a whole kindergarten team, laminating, then cutting, and then by that time I was just pooped. And so um, my assistant, she'll probably do this when she get back. Well, no, she won't. I take that back because uh, a teacher got sick today and she is that teacher's uh, relief and so she's going over there and I hope she feels good. I'm not actually what's wrong with the other teacher but we did Saxon this morning. We are on lesson 12 so I have to do the lesson 12 assessment or the assessment that comes right after lesson 12 but I like Saxon. It gives you a script. It, it, it tells you what it, what you need to do. Um, however, I'm still learning Saxon. And then, word is, we are now getting wonders, but it hadn't come in. Well, it's not the word. We've been knowing we was getting wonders, but it hadn't come in yet. So, I was going to just finish using Journeys or start back using Journeys and when Wonders came in, just switch over. But I had a third grade teacher to tell me not to do that because Wonders is so much that you need to get acclimated to using it. And so she was like, if I were you, I would just go on and, you know, start using Wonders. Um, as far as the demo, she gave us the demo. Use the demo, get used to it, and then that way, um, you won't be it won't be so much when you get it and so that's what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and use the demo next week i'm gonna play with it this weekend and use it next week so anyway let me get some work done and then i'll talk to y'all later bye okay so it's the end of the day um i had a leadership team meeting so i did that then i had uh i just I, i'm back now it was about an hour then I just have some work I need to do, like in the classroom, just like picking up stuff, nothing major, cause I'm about to leave. It's actually, um, what time is it right now? 3.32 and I really wanna leave on time today, which is 3.30. So all I gotta do is pick up some few items as far as like my table. This is my teacher table and it's nothing like drastic. These are letter tasks for Saxon, some center activities, name plates because i still haven't put their names on the stuff because i'm waiting to uh i'm waiting to get like name slots so if i have to move children i just move the slot i mean i just need to move the tag out the slot um this is our kindergarten assessment i need to finish this i did some of them i've already done but i didn't see them in here i don't know what i did with them. they're somewhere around here then I have these. I'm going to do these for morning work for some of my students who like need that help with tracing stuff. So I'm going to do those. And that's actually about it. Um, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi. 
Okay, tonight is um what the it's called it's back to school night for uh the school. <laughs> Duh. And we are getting ready. We have to be here at 5 30. It is let me see. It's 4 48. So basically, it's just another version of Meet the Teachers. And I'm so stuffed up because it's like hot here in Mississippi. But then my allergies and sinuses are messing up. But I have the air conditioner on because it's so hot. And I hope that this is not really so dark. I feel like it might be too dark. What if I put it right here? But I feel the sun, like I'm facing away from the sun, so it's really hot. <laughs> and I'm just sitting in the car because I hadn't gotten out yet. Because I was actually contemplating my eyes are itching, but I can't scratch my eyes because my contacts and my makeup. And then I don't need to be rubbing my eyes anyway. But uh, I was actually contemplating on um, going to get something to eat. I'm not hungry, but like we have to be here from 5 to 6. Seven. It might be from 5.30 to 6.30. I'm not sure. And I don't want to get hungry. And so I was going to actually just go get something to eat. But I don't want to get something to eat and I'm not hungry. <laughs> like, I think that's crazy to eat and you're not hungry. And then if, whatever I get is going to be cold. And then it's not going to be good when I'm hungry. <sighs> so, I don't know. This thing is bothering me, though. Because I feel like it's so dark over here. But then, over here... It's not not a good position. I almost want to like move my car just so I can, <laughs> just so I can. Um, well, we have good, so just so I can have good lighting. But my makeup is all like, bleh. so when we get off, when we have to come back to school, we get off early. And today, I went ahead and got off, and I went ahead and left. And so I picked up my son, and I took him home, and so my mom has him. And so I did all that. Uh, I did all that earlier because it's, it's a love bug in here. We're also bothered with love bugs here in Mississippi. Right, wherever y'all are from, are y'all bothered with love bugs? Because we're bothered with love bugs here. But um, that's about it. Nothing too major. I hate that this isn't working. I'm finna go in my classroom because I need to um, finish up some stuff before the parents actually come. Oh, that's so dark. I need to finish up some stuff before the parents actually come. I want them to come to a clean classroom. So, I'm gonna go in. I'll need to hang some stuff out. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll talk to y'all when I get in there. Bye. Good morning, beautiful people. So, I am currently at work now. I'm sitting in the parking lot. I haven't gotten out yet. Um, I literally just got here and I was like, oh, let me turn the camera on because I want to show everyone yeah, all these boxes. Yes. So my stuff from Orient, I ordered some stuff in my classroom from Oriental Trading and then I ordered some stuff from Walmart. Just like basic necessities that I need that I hadn't gotten yet. And when I mean basic necessities, I mean just that like, um, caddies for my tables, uh, little pencil holders for my tables, just like stuff that I need for my classroom to run smoothly, and so or for my centers to run smoothly. So I picked that stuff up. Well, I ordered it, and it literally came in like three, two to three days, maybe. It wasn't long shipping. So I'm gonna go get a dolly from the um from the custodian, and I'm gonna see if he can get the stuff out and bring it up. And then I'll uh, unbox it and show you all. Thank you for watching. Okay, I want to quickly come on and show you all. The principal just brought me something that made me so happy. Super duper happy. Let's walk over here. He brought our Wonders box. So, this is Wonders. This is what we'll be using this year. And of course, it's the kindergarten wonders because I teach K. And I'm so excited to just like jump in and see what what it is and what we have and what's going on. I've heard a lot about wonders. I'm really excited to use wonders, but I am a little nervous because I did hear that it was very um 
not difficult to use but it's a lot of components and you have to be super organized and which it was one of my goals this year to be super organized so I'm going to crack this sucker open. I hadn't been to the car to get out my stuff. Because when I got in this morning, I couldn't find a custodian. And then, uh, everything just been rolling, rolling, rolling. Of course, at, uh... 7.50, we have to use the bathroom. 8 o'clock, we start instruction time. And it's 9 o'clock now, so the students just left to go to the library. And then they're going to music. So I have time today to, uh... Well, I have time right now to go get it. If I can find a custodian. But... Other than that, that's all that's been going on. We are finishing our centers today. I need to read another story to the students. Um, we finished our Saxon lesson. I need to... I have so much to do on my on my list of things to do. I need to finish... Well, I need to give them their Saxon uh, oral assessment. And then I need to give them... Finish the kindergarten assessments for the students who haven't finished. Um... What else? I need to file some papers. I get my assistant to do this. She'll file the papers. Oh. What else? Oh, we did get a lot of sacks and stuff in. This is all our sacks and stuff. And I was telling her about the letter cards. So, I guess they're going to give us new letter cards every year. Which, I don't need new letter cards every year single year why can't we just reuse them are we supposed to give them to the students at the end of the year i don't know but these are brand new letter cards i'm not complaining but then again i'm kind of like i don't need them i don't know then um we have the decodable readers i still have some of those left um then we have i guess this is some this worksheets then we have the student worksheets so that being said happy day for for me my, my my teacher heart is very happy as um one fat teacher she always says that my teacher heart so my teacher heart is very happy today um i'm really excited to crack this stuff open and get hardcore organized and uh my next main goal is just to tackle this closet i mean like whoo that's how I feel when I come in here. I feel so overwhelmed. A lot of this stuff was in here before I came. Um, now I did get, I did contribute quite a few things to this, to this bundle of mess. But most of the stuff was in here when I came, and it's some good stuff. Like I said, it's some stuff that I can actually use. I just need to like really organize it or whatever. Then these, um, where are they? Because I was going to use them this year. This is the journey stuff. I like journeys. It was cool. I don't know. But I had some big alphabets I was going to use this year to put on my walls. But we can't have no more than 50% um, of our walls covered. And so I'm pretty much at 50%. It's a fire hazard if we cover more than that. Um, then if a fire breaks out. It could engulf the class because of all the paper and i have butcher paper literally on one wall so that's the 50 percent right there and then it's just kind of cluttered i don't i don't want a cluttered classroom but i want a colorful and bright classroom and i want a vibrant and vivacious classroom but i don't want to just be like oh my god it's too much stuff in here because it's some stuff that we have to have like we have to have the word wall we have to have the uh saxon um letters on the wall we have to have the focus wall or the uh some people call it focus wall some people call it a uh oh what's the other name some people call it focus wall and i've heard it called something else i can't remember but we have to have that up and then we i just need like resources of like my numbers because students are learning numbers i need colors because students need to learn the colors um i have shapes because we at the at the age where they're learning shapes so I, that kind of stuff i just really wanted to make sure i had it on the wall readily available for them but i'm so excited that i have all my stuff i just have to open it up and get started so i'm gonna go do that and i will talk to you guys later bye okay guys welcome back 
it is saturday and i just wanted to show y'all my teacher toolbox so i got the toolbox from lowe's and me and my co-teacher we were gonna paint our toolboxes we'll spray paint them and you know have them all cutesy and stuff and this is the teacher toolbox gone wrong uh my son he's two years old he got next to it and he decided to draw on it as if it was a canvas so i have to go get some more spray paint to spray paint over that which i was gonna get some more spray paint anyway because i spray painted it unevenly it just doesn't look as crisp and clean and fun and and all those good things like i wanted it to look so this is 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 real life teacher toolbox gone wrong i have to go get some more spray paint <clears throat> oh excuse me i have to spray paint over this then <laughs> i just don't even know where my missing drawer is like when i say my son just just got hold to this box and did what he wanted to do literally this what this 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 what happened so um we're gonna revamp this this is gonna be i should have taken a before before picture where um you can see it straight from the store but it was just a basic box straight straight from the store it was originally blue and then um and then i spray painted it green but it didn't come out how i wanted it to so i'm going to go get some more spray paint from walmart spray paint it again to cover up the stuff that's going on and then i'll show y'all how it looks so Stay tuned.